All right. I think you get the gist of what's happening today. We're working on some presets. And um, I think that I've come up with a perfect solution for saddle hunter presets on private or public property. I think it works really well. Uh, cheap, and it's not a ring of steps. It's a platform. We're gonna get back to the barn. I'm gonna show you guys uh, this, this sweet preset platform. Um, I, I think it works great. I think it works great. Nothing will ever replace my mission platform because I just absolutely love that thing. But this is kind of a substitute for one of those, you know, like I know this spot I'm gonna wanna hunt on private property. So I made a preset here and just like we were back there, we made a preset over down on the other end of the field. In those areas where you can set presets, sometimes it is nice to actually like have something there ready to go. You don't have to carry in sticks and you don't have to carry in platform. So this is kind of what we're working with here. The first thing I'm going to say is every disclaimer I can throw out there, I'm throwing out there right now. Disclaimer, this is not safe. Disclaimer, you could get hurt. Disclaimer, do at your own risk. Whatever else I can throw on there for a disclaimer. This is something for me. And it can give you an idea on something, design something all on your own. This platform here, um, in total, cost me, I think it was 1975. Uh, the dimensions, the breakdown, and the cost of everything is in the link down below to the website, and it's got a whole article on it. So you can go to the uh, article if you want all the details after this. We'll say round it up to $20. $20 it cost me to make a platform that should last at least through one season, if not multiple seasons, depending on how you take care of it. First thing you actually do need to purchase is a V-step. And these are the primal V-steps. They're nothing like spectacular. Um, there's also the wild edge V-steps, which I believe are a little bit buffier, but I got these because we're going cheap. Uh, it was $11, I believe, or $12 for one V-step. I measured all my dimensions off of the opening of that V-step. The basic design of this is it goes in through the widest point of the V-step and it slides to the back and hinges underneath of the back of the V-step. The first thing we need to do, or I did, when I made this was I did a cardboard template, uh, which worked out pretty good. Um, I kind of traced out, cut out the designs I wanted to do, got them all squared away, and then the next step was we need a piece of lumber. So you need to go out and buy a piece of lumber, uh, a two by four sheet of three quarter inch treated plywood, I believe $35 right now. So a two by four sheet of plywood will get you about seven platforms. It should be really close to seven platforms. We got our sheet of lumber, we got our template, it's time to trace it out, and then we start cutting it. And I used a jigsaw. If you got something fancier, use something fancier. But I only had a jigsaw, so I used the jigsaw, cut it all out, and once I was done cutting it out, I went back out to like where I'm hanging stuff just to try, and I dry fit it. During this time of dry fitting, I took a pencil out there with me and marked under the underside of the actual step and where it comes to on the board, and that would be like the closest side of the tree I'm marking with a, a pencil, because that is where now we're gonna make our locking portion of the platform. That way there's no option for this thing to slide out. So made a mark, dry fitted it. We go back over to the table, we go back over to the wood and we measure ourselves out a little piece of wood that'll actually wedge underneath and that platform makes solid. It's kind of tapered because uh, the way the, the V-step is formed, um, you can see, you can, you can kind of see the opening is here, which was like six and a quarter inches to slide in. So to put the piece underneath, this portion of the V-step kind of comes out inward. So I need to make it a little narrower here. You can kind of see in the picture or the video of what we're talking about here. So now we have our tapered locking piece. We go over to either a drill press or if you just have a hand drill, that is perfectly fine. We line up our pencil mark and we drill right through the center. After well drilled out, don't want to fall right there. What are you guys doing? I'm standing here talking. I'm standing here talking the whole time. Okay, anyways, we've been using the 5 16th drill bit because we're using a 5 16th bolt to run through the two holes and bolt our locking portion of the wood to our platform. Uh, it's a 5 16th bolt for the two and a half inch, 5 16th inch bolt with wide washers, there's wide as I could get them, and a, a nylon locking hex nut. So, we go back over to our dry fit area, slide it in, make sure our locking piece of wood works, 
thread the or push the bolt through, lock it down, and it's done. You're basically done. That is your finished platform. It's super basic, super simplified. I didn't want to go too crazy, and it's super cheap, really. I mean, lumber's expensive. Five years ago, you could have got that two by four piece of three quarter inch treated plywood for like 15 bucks. You know, it would have been great. The V step is meant for vertical pressure, pressure, vertical, up and down. It's not meant for uh, a plank and creating uh, so much torque on the very end of it that it starts to pull the top away. So it's not the sturdiest of platforms, obviously. Um, you can tighten the strap down and get it pretty solid. Like, I mean, I'm doing here probably in this video, I'm showing you how solid it is. Um, I'm not gonna jump up and down on this platform. It's pretty simplified. It's a nine and a half inch piece of wood by 12 inches long in total length. You have a six and a quarter inch chunk of wood that your total weight's supporting. If you use a plywood calculator to see how much um, holding weight it has, it's around 930 pounds. So I'm not really worried about the board breaking. What I am worried about though down the road is it rotting out. So this season, say I'm running them treated, you know, it should last quite a while. But to take it that extra step further for longevity, I would highly recommend putting some exterior paint on it, help that rain and snow run off of it or melt off of it, or you could take them down at the end of season, obviously, and help the longevity. I think these, disclaimer still in there, I think these, for me, if I was really trying to, just newly trying to get into saddle hunting, I would try and do something like this. If I was pinching pennies, you know, on a budget, all these type kind of things. Um, Again, nothing is going to replace the manufactured platforms with way higher weight ratings than what this is. You know, this is just one of those things that you can either use for presets on public land, honey holes, presets on private land, you know, spots that you think that you might be able to find this useful. I like this better than a ring of steps. The ring of steps will, unless you've got some really good boots, can actually cause your pain to be somewhat in the arch of your feet. Um, but this is something, and I don't like to penetrate the tree. So this is something that just kind of compromises all things together. You know, you do what you want to do. And if this works for you, it works for you. Ah, disclaimer. <laughs> but anyways, for reference, 200 and, uh, thir sorry, 238 pounds, losing weight. 238 pounds on that platform, feel really comfortable. Again, longevity is probably going to be my biggest concern with it. Um, as this is a first run, first season with it. But hey, you know, is what it is. Uh, coming up here pretty quick, we have a camera dump. We've got a couple cameras soaking out in some public land, private land. We'll see if we can find any nice big bucks to chase. We've got a review video of an all brand new saddle, American made trophy line that's coming out. They've been teasing that now for about a few days at least. So we're gonna go through that. And so if you wanna stick around, hit that subscribe button. Subscribe, subscribe. Man, I got some. Marion Springs in me too. Subscribe. Subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button and the bell button so you get notified when those videos are uploaded and I will see you guys later. Big fella needs some air conditioning, some food, and some water. So I'm out of here. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Goodbye. Again, I appreciate you all. <laughs>